Okay, so the fourth thing we're going to do in our series of videos here is add a second FEX to the system and add an Ether channel based host. So we're going to add a Nexus 2232, which is a 10 gig 32 port fabric extender. In our case, we're actually going to use 1 gig SFPs in it, and we're going to connect a, uh, a VMware host that has um, a uh, Ether channel based uh, network set up with two NICs that are bonded. So um, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is enable feature LACP. Now, I did this because at the beginning of the video, I thought I was going to be configuring LACP on VMware, but the setup in VMware only supports Ether channel in my lab. So, you know, for now, we're just going to do an Ether channel. So first thing you have to do is I'm going to show that I added the FEX. I did that the same way we did in the other videos. Um, this is FEX 101. It's online. It's a 2232, which is a 32 port 10 gig box. Um, here's the running config for those interface, and then in this case it's on 1.4. As you can see, I use the associate command and the channel group command. We're going to show the, um, the the port channel itself. It shows that it's up, VPC 101. Here's the running config for it with VPC 101 and FEX associate 101. Same thing on the other side. No, no big difference from what we did in the first series of videos. Everything's up and running and discovered. Um, so then from there, um, once that is, is done and, and up and running and the ports are live, um, we're going to go ahead and configure the ports. One key thing about this is I had to set the speed to 100 on my ports um, because I had to um, uh, put 1 gig SFPs in instead of the 10 gig. As you can see here, the VPC is up so, so that this single FEX 101 is connected to both Nexus 5500s, it's up and running and live. The configs are synced and we're ready to go. So as I said, we're going to have to configure the ports now, which is very straightforward. My ports are E100 slash 1 slash 2 and E101 slash 1 slash 2. And again, with NXOS, there's no need for the range hand. You can just specify the ports you need. We're going to set them up in VLAN 245, which is a continuation from our last video. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a channel group. Now, the channel group in this case is going to be 200. And if you see, I started typing active, but then went to, to on because I remembered that the mode needed to be on according to the VMware design guide uh, that I was using. Now, if you're using LACP, it would be mode active, but if you're using Ether channel, it's mode on. So I set mode on there. Now we're going to go to the channel interface, uh, the channel group interface, port channel 200, and do the same commands. And this is on the, the left switch, and then we'll go ahead and do it on the right switch as well. So as you can see, I had to put the speed wondered command in there, and I did that before uh, the video was recorded um, to show that even though this is a, a one gig uh, uh, effects for one of the ports, you still have to do the speed command because the config have to be synced. And remember, the config lines have to be identical. So even though the 2248 is a one gig only fex, I still had to put the speed command in there. Um, and on the 10 gig fex, obviously the speed command allows it to recognize the SFP. So again, I'm going to do channel group 200 mode on, um, port channel 200, same thing, switch port access, VLAN 2, 245. The key thing here is notice how on the port channel interface, we're not using the VPC command. When you use enhanced VPC, which is what we're using here, because we already have VPC set up between the FEX and the 5Ks, now we're setting up a VPC between the server and the 2Ks, which is like a cascaded VPC. As you can see, it automatically gave a VPC number dynamically, and the members are in the channel, and it's up and running, no problem. And if I do my show commands on the other side, same thing. Um, on port channel 200, I've got speed 100, and the port channel's up. So on the port channel, you can see, again, the same you know VPC, dynamically assigned VPC number. The VPC status is up, and uh, the members are Ethernet 100 slash 1 slash 2 and Ethernet 101 slash 1 slash 2. Again, server is configured to talk to two different Nexus 2000s of even two different types, two different models, and it comes up and works just fine. Okay, so let's review. We added a second fex and an Ether channel based host. And here's the final configuration for you to paste into your setup. So we added the fax on, for, on port E14 
made it effects fabric, gave it line card 101, channel group three. Then as you can see, channel group three, same configuration, but I add the VPC 101 to enable the dual connection, right? So it's this port right here and this port right here so that they're in a VPC, as you can see, right? The circle around that shows they're in a VPC. Then I took the two ports, 100, 1 slash 2, and 101, 1 slash 2. So that's this port right here and this port right here. Um, I took those ports, made them 100 meg, or I'm sorry, uh, 1 gigabit ports, and then on port channel 200, which is associated to this channel group, I did the same commands, and then I did the same thing on the other side. Okay, so the results of the FEX configuration show that the FEX 101 is online, um, and it's a 32 port 10 gig FEX, it shows the serial number, same thing on the other side. And then the port configuration shows my two ports are in VLAN 245 and they're up at one gig speed on port channel 200. And then if I do a port channel 200 show interface, I get the name of the port channel, it's in VLAN 245 and it's up and its speed is one gig. And then the same thing on the other side. And that's it.